Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. I'm gonna show you some little overview about the current state of my Season Sub 1 zone. Finally, zone 2 opened and everyone is hungry about fighting and about getting merits. We are trying to move up to the Spires, to the Behemoths on zone 2. Uh, we have two enemies. Uh, first one is LM and second one is... Uh, M A right uh, right now it will be a huge fight um, on the spire and finally I will be able to showcase my free to play um, long range warfare army let's see how much merits we are going to get uh, whenever we are having fights like this whenever there is huge amount of legions nearby I always try to zoom out and click on the units uh, like this because sometimes it's really really hard to understand uh, who is who and what we are hitting of course as a marksman player you always want to hit uh, uh, ranged units uh, but simply uh, in this kind of situations you just click on whatever is on in front of you so you will be able to deal some damage to enemies uh, let's see how much merits we are going to get i will mention that i'm 100 percent free to play player uh, it's always fun whenever there is time of war and whenever there is time for getting merits um, in general uh, whenever i have at least or more than 10,000 merits per legion uh, that's what I call successful fight and uh, so far everything is going fine we have not gotten targeted and i hope it will continue like this right now in general i think a lot of players are asking is it possible for a free to play players to generate merits uh, whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players and i always ask play around uh, your tier 5 players play around with your alliance members because that's the most perfect way for everybody to get merits uh, this game is not um, a single player game it's about fighting with your people it's about fighting with your alliance members and that's the main advice i always give uh, so far i'm hitting because my infantry players are alive and uh, that's the time whenever you have as a ranged player to do something uh, on the battlefield right whenever i see that i don't have single an infantry tank which will which is going to tank for me i'm going to move back and yeah finally i got targeted i'm moving back and like yeah this infantry player just wanted to follow me and simply just because of that uh, they are getting a lot of damage to themselves yep as i mentioned before zooming out is a perfect way of fighting especially whenever you are fighting against a lot of legions uh, and yep as always whenever i see cavalry legion marching uh, in the mass pvp that's the best uh, target for every any ranged uh, hero pair uh, so far we are still alive uh, we are doing some damage and of course until my legions are alive i'm not going to show uh, how much merits we got right right now i just escaped a lot of damage on myself i'm not sure what is hitting me i guess it was spire unfortunately spire just destroyed my main legion uh, let's see what would be the amount of merits we are going to get uh, from this fight uh, unfortunately my main legion which i have invested all of my legendary tokens is destroyed but still now uh, we are going to try our best and we will try to get as much merits as possible out of these fights yep this mage legion like yeah he, he's trying to be a hero he wants to get more merits maybe he wants to get a uh, perfect artifact use but unfortunately uh, it, it, it did not end well for him i'm almost 100 percent sure that my main legion which is nico and ginara got hit by spire because it's almost impossible to uh die so quickly uh, but yeah whatever like simply we are playing this fight for uh like more merits we are hungry about merits because anytime whenever there is new season uh like everybody is farming at first but it's at some point everybody decides to do some fighting and i'm pretty glad that i'm playing with the uh 
pirates who are willing to fight pretty much all the time uh, my legions are almost gone unfortunately we did not manage to stay alive longer in order for us to deal more damage but it's totally fine because i'm pretty sure i got hit by spire many many times and that's why i got uh I, I died pretty fast because of the spire that's mainly the reason why everything happened uh, so far i still have nico i still have uh, craig and thea which is pretty good legion in my opinion like i understand simply because craig is epic hero and uh, like people underrate it because yeah a season sub 2 who uh, is playing with epic heroes but trust me if you are playing with wilderberg and if you are if you are playing with the marksman especially uh, wyverns with craig and thea is absolutely fine uh, i guess it, it will be the finish line for my uh, craig and thea but until uh, i'm still alive i will try to do as much damage as possible and yeah i we when use some shadow blades uh, on this matter let's just observe what's going to happen here because walking uh, towards this uh, place takes like almost half an hour uh, i'm 100 percent sure that we did a lot of damage to them because uh, the spire is defending them towards this side and it's like simply uh, it's almost impossible to move through with so many legions on our way and plus spire is dealing damage to us unfortunately somehow i managed to get hit by a spire at least like three or four times and that's the main reason why uh, my legions went home uh, so far because i think i got targeted only like two or three times and straight up i went back um, in order for us for me to avoid those targets but yeah whenever spire hits you especially uh, level two spire which is much much stronger than level one uh, that's generally how it happens as i have mentioned before still Dilia and Dwellin is the most popular hero pair in the whole game even though a lot of people are speaking that marksmen are getting uh, more love in the game rather than mages we still see that mages are the most popular hero pairs in the game uh, it's quite surprising because whenever new heroes come out that's the new heroes are the the most famous but uh, everybody likes to use Lilia especially tier 5 players simply because uh, you are dealing damage to multiple legions and that's the way of the game whenever you are having a war against uh, many different legions around the battlefield right uh, Bertrand and Tohar that's the hero pair for single target damage uh, we do still see a lot of Bertrands but I think those Bertrands are with Atheus or with um, with Thea and they are using Celestials that's the another way of using the newest hero which is Bertrand right uh, but I still think that Bertrand and Tohar will be workable more and more uh, this game will progress people will understand that single target damage is quite fine uh, because you are dealing more and more damage to one legion and uh, like as fast you're gonna destroy that one legion you will be able to transfer your target to another one uh, regarding like newest uh, heroes marksman heroes zaida um, uh, and magrot uh, we don't generally see too much of them because i think uh, people still don't have them uh, together uh, we just had only one wheel of destiny in order for players to get magrot for example because zaida was gettable from the lucky spin unfortunately as a free to play player if you don't get uh, magrot from the wheel of destiny it's almost impossible to get from the strongest lords because strongest lord is pay to win event and you shouldn't really care about strongest lord if you are not uh, paying in this game uh, so far like this is going to happen almost every single day our main job here was to lure them out to deal some damage because uh, we are pretty confident that in the end we are going to win this fight and we're gonna take the land uh, we, we will need like at least 10 to 15 hours in order to make our tower constructions towards this uh, bridge so it's just happening so we, it, we are just fighting because we want their their hospitals to get full uh, while we are building towards them right and in the end i'm pretty sure we are going to be winners of this fight
as I have mentioned, uh, infantry is one of the main and one of the best uh, legion. Uh, if you have many infantry players, especially tier 5 players, uh, it's easy to push with infantry, it's easy to defend with infantry because they are taking a lot of focus. It's not easy to kill them, especially if they have high tech and uh, if they are tier 5 players right um, as a marksman main i'm really excited again because uh, seasonal talents long range warfare which like i was one of the first ones who was saying that i don't really care about minus attack uh, percentages all i ever wanted as a marksman player to have same range as a mage and finally after one season more and more players are coming towards my opinion which makes me more than happy uh, because yeah like uh, if you are marksman player you know the struggle of the past seasons whenever you simply couldn't attack because of the less range than mages and finally we are able to go toe to toe against mage players and uh, that's amazing feeling to have whenever you are fighting as a marksman uh, i think that's enough of the uh, like showcasing the fighting now it's time for me to show the report and as i have mentioned my troops are not even at home because i, I will show you how much road you will need to move uh, in, in order for me to refill and go back that's why uh, we are just making them to fill up the hospitals because we understand that we will have enough time uh, until we're gonna build our towers towards them in terms of merits uh, let's double check how much merits we got uh, as a free-to-play player i need to mention that uh, my strongest legion is nico and kinara finally i was able to awaken kinara but unfortunately i got destroyed i guess i got hit some by something because in just one single second uh, my legion was gone i guess it was spire or maybe i got hit by multiple artifacts at the same time uh, nevertheless like most uh, performing legion right now is craig and thea simply because um, i managed to stay alive longer with them and as i have mentioned before it doesn't really matter how strong you are or how uh, good your artifact is and how powerful your artifact is the main idea about fighting and getting merits in mass pvp is that you need to stay alive right that's why i always mention play around user alliance members uh, stay behind your tier 5 players if you are getting targeted move back remove you those targets and then they are going back right uh, as soon as you will understand that simple trick that uh, it doesn't really matter how much damage you're gonna deal in one go uh, it's always better to stay alive longer and longer and that's how how you will be able to generate more and more merits uh, actually, if it's really interesting because uh, the Craig and Thea is my weakest legion out of all of them. Well, I guess Sindran and Fregar is kind of weakest because both of them are five one one ones, and I have a, like Craig at least awakened and Thea like five four two one. So like generally, these are free to play legions i have spent zero dollars in this game i don't even have lilia so if somebody will tell you that uh it's impossible to have fun in call of dragons if you are not paying you're gonna send uh, links to my uh, pvp videos and you're gonna show them that it's possible to generate merits it's possible to uh, have fun uh, even if you are not spending anything in this game uh, let's double check the hospital how it actually looks whenever you're gonna fight with like four legions uh, that's pretty normal i actually was waiting for even more uh, 200k is not that um, that much right like uh, if you have uh, even like elixir mana stone it will be almost nothing uh, it will take like six to five hours in order for you to have uh, empty hospital but season soap too right if you are playing this game for a while right now you have lot of troops like even more troops like as i am a marksman player i have like 600k uh, marksman troops so even if my hospital will be full i will be able to send more and more troops on the battlefield i guess that was it um, like it was my first pvp video in season sub 2 which i'm going to take a lot because finally uh, zone 2 is opened and we are going to have more and more fun uh, day by day i guess we did pretty good damage uh, they should have a lot of full hospitals and until we will be building and we will be moving 
coming towards them uh, we will have enough time to gather more and fight more uh, thanks for watching i hope my videos are entertaining i hope my videos is helping you guys in terms of call of dragons if you like those videos press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this game i wish everybody amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck